Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I'm actually posting this because I'm not just providing what I've done regarding the network for the house, but I'm actually posting this because I'm after a little bit of help of what other people have done with their home network setups and got a head torch on because I keep mine in the loft, which I'm about to take through. And I want to just get an understanding, like I say, what I could have done better from more professional people around this type of thing. So let's go up and have a look. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look in here. Now this is just temporary at the moment with some of the cabling, hence why that's just flopping down because I just had some spare. Because I've only fitted this two days ago. And like I mentioned, I'm after potentially a bit of advice on this because I haven't ever built a, a system this big. And I'll go through what I've got. So just a quick whistle top first of what I've got and then I'll talk through my plans. Down here is 6A shielded patch coming in with only 15, 15 cables as you see. Straight above that is a temperature controlled fan. After that is my 48 port switch. Then we move on to six Cat6 six cables. Um, this is a pre-configured patch and I've got off the top head around about 19 to 20 um, cables coming in. And then above that is a Dream Machine Pro and things. So what majority of the cabling down here will be mostly just network activity um iot devices um directly to tvs things like that sonoses and potentially a couple of pc networking the temperature control fan is because as you can kind of see i'm in a loft and I don't have in the past I've put things in the loft and I've had no issues with it but I've never had such a big setup as this so what I've done here is had this temperature control fan which is I believe set to 32 degrees and when it hits that temperature it will um, completely blow and get rid of any um, excess hopeful heat out of the system to help cool the switch and the, the dream machine and things I haven't ever used one of those yet if that doesn't keep everything happy, I have got space, as you see, for a another fan. Um, that I do already own, but it's not in a temperature controlled one. It's a simple on off switch one, which I can control via smart system, which is, I'm not stressed about that, but I've already got that. So that's just to give it another um, bit of air clearance. Those fans I've got um, sucked from the bottom and then blow, so it's not just, more or less this one I'm just using to blow upwards and um, the other one there will obviously suck and blow at the same time so easy as that and um, that temperature gauge is on a thin wire which goes to um, the cable at the back of here which sits as you can see directly on the network switch all my gear sorry is ubiquity as you see all access points are ubiquity all security cameras are ubiquity which takes them to the next point which is this 48 port switch which is um, controlled and managed by the Dream Machine, but m most of it, like I say, will be plugged in down here, will be very loose terms, um, networking activity and IoT. The top layer will more or less be the POEs, being the cameras and stuff like that, because that's been running normal Cat6 cable. Um, this one here is a PoE which is flashing away as is that one because I've just got at the moment temporarily uh, two access points plugged into somewhere where I wouldn't normally have them. I'm just, whilst I'm just doing this house at the moment, I just plug them in a V's of easy access and things like that, which I'm using the internet for. Um, this is where I'm looking potentially for some advice. In the past, I've never had a big load on a switch. I would call it a big load. I know it's only just a house, but running potentially i think it's nine cameras um four or five no actually five or six access points um so that's a lot of poe activity I, i'm i'm thinking not quite sure this is why we're posting this video two is it too much load on one single switch now in the past um i've had a smaller usage on on this big 48 port switch i've always had 48 port for the reason is just if I ever wanted to add something and I've just got more and more space but I don't know if I should maybe have potentially broken that into two switches just in case something went wrong with this I've then got can overlay into another switch potentially I don't know it'd be interesting to get your thoughts I haven't 
Um, I've had I've owned this for over three four years. I don't ever know what the lifespan of a of a switch on a home network is. So again, that would be some good good feedback from from people to understand really. Uh, patch up here, like I say, is just Cat six. Um, this unlike there, which takes it to fifteen. This I think has around about nineteen to twenty on it. That's a pre already filled patch that came and stuff. So simple loads really of cameras and it's more or less cameras to be honest with you and network activity and yeah no actual um traffic going through any computer power it'll be just iot devices and stuff like that nothing nothing at all exciting and then at the top as you can see is the dream machine pro i fitted a eight terabyte drive for the nvr and I haven't at the moment utilized any of the PoE or switch capability in this um, Dream Machine. Again, it'd be good to get some feedback to understand if that's a good idea and to take some of the load off the the switch. I don't know. I didn't want to, with that, that's a brand new device I've just purchased. I didn't want to potentially load that up with loads of stuff, really. So I thought it'd be best to separate it all the switch activity maybe there but i could be completely wrong with that see it's connected by fiber and um, which is pretty easy to do and um, the only thing that is worth considering moving forward potentially is i do have um a garage which is people who don't obviously follow the channel other side of that wall and down and which is extremely cool and with this being the loft in the uk I don't know what temperatures it'll hit up here or if the fans can keep it cool or if it's any issues. I have run things in the loft in the past with no issues. So I'd be good to get some feedback on that basically. If it would be good to potentially lift and shift the switch activity maybe to um, somewhere else or move the dream machine. Not quite sure. Hey guys, sorry about that. Someone just phoned and... I want to just quickly close this video by asking for help. Like I said beforehand, I've only had the 48 port with a managed by a cloud key. I haven't had the NVR set up with the Dream Machine Pro and everything like that. So that's completely new to me. I have done some settings with the VLANs and set that up as a default over management for the IoT devices, guest network and security camera network and everything like that. So I've gone into a bit down that rabbit hole with the um, NVR in the G machine set up and stuff. So it'd be good to get an understanding what other people have done. Again, for people who normally follow this channel, if you've got this far in the video, so it's not our, our normal content and things, but it's good to obviously update you what I've done. But this is more a video, like I say, to post for ask for help um, from much more clever boffins about these setups really for hopefully comments down below will be able to help others. I will post another video probably later on because I will be doing things with the smart systems and the IoT devices around the house of how it's all automated, I'm pretty sure, and stuff like that. But thanks ever so much. Reaching out for help, like I keep saying. Um, catch you all in the next videos as normal. And for people new to the channel who have just helped, my name's Miller and I've built this five-bedroom house who is struggling with some network stuff. So thanks ever so much, guys. Speak soon, hopefully, and I'll catch you in the next video. Maybe. I've just dropped my access point.